now we know how Cyril deals with adversity. It was like a, almost a question that was unanswered in his career so far. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's a question that I, I, I do have the answer already myself. Like, I miss this time when Cyril was in the UFC. I miss this time in the TKO when Cyril was in this very tough spot because he didn't know anything about the MMA and he was scared. And and when Cyril is scared and when he's in danger, he's very, very dangerous. Like when he when he's like he had doubt and he's not sure of what he's doing, uh, the instant pick over and 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 then it start to it, it become like very dangerous very surviving mode you know and that's what what happened to the to the tko people they think they tend to think that is because the level of the tko was a small level but i know I, I can tell that when he had that long problem in the tko then he couldn't breathe then he had no choice that he had to go to fight this guy and try to finish him very quick when he had the guy tried to take him down and he was so scared of the, the, the grand game, then he was very savage, very dangerous. But the new Cyril in the last seven fight in the UFC was a lot of evolution. He, he was confident. He's, he know that if you bring me down, I can, if you try to bring me down, like Francis tried to take him down, I can catch the, the kimura on you. I can have you the guillotine. I can go for the heel hook. So all this stuff make him not, I mean, very, um, how to say, very polyvalent on with many tools, but not in survive mode, which we dis we, we, we discover again in uh, in UFC Paris, where uh, he just woke up and was like, okay, you know what? This is my country. This is my people. This is. 70,000 people sharing for me. I cannot let them down. I need to finish this fight. And uh, th that's the mode that I would like to have him.